in your circumstances. <laughs> if you're on the top of a cliff yeah, right. and a guy's just missing you by two feet, right. all he's got to do is not miss you by two feet and you're in deep crap, you know? Well, that's a funny story. Well, here I am. Uh, okay. Pleased to meet you. It's a reunion that's bringing back memories. And while there are some funny stories to tell, the World War II veterans visiting the Pacific this week are here to revisit the battlefields where many of their comrades were lost in war. John Loriello is among the 31 veterans who will fly to Iwo Jima tomorrow. He spent 37 days on the island as a young Marine and was in danger from the moment he reached the landing beach. In the first four or five minutes, when my uh, very lovable Indian coat talker got shot right through the ridge and killed right, right alongside me, and I didn't even know it. Jerry Yellen was 21 years old when he came to Iwo Jima as a P-51 pilot on March 7, 1945. At that point, the battle was well underway. And when I opened my cockpit, the smell of death was overwhelming. And as I was taxiing to the parking area, I saw mounds and mounds and mounds of dead Japanese bodies being pushed into a mass grave. And I saw truckload after truckload of American Marines, dead American Marines, being unloaded to the Marine mortuary where they're going to put into the ground at the cemetery. The men were trained to kill the Japanese during the war, but the world has changed a lot in the 70 years since. And Yellen says there is just one mission he has for his visit to Iwo Jima tomorrow. I really want to put my arms around a Japanese veteran and hug him and just feel that peaceful feeling.